Hi everyone, Jaquez here, and I am back again to guide you on another powerful tool within Calendly. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at Calendly's routing forms feature. Now, what is this feature? Calendly's Routing Forms is a powerful tool that allows you to direct leads to the right booking page based on their responses to your form. Now, this feature is useful for businesses that offer multiple services or have different teams handling different types of appointments. Now, by using Routing Forms, you can ensure that each lead is routed to the correct booking page, streamlining your scheduling process and improving the overall customer experience. Now let's hop into the part you're waiting for, the demo. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do to get our routing form created is to build out our intake form. To get that in motion, we want to head to the routing option on the left hand side panel. And then from that point, you're going to be presented the routing section within Calendly. Okay. Now the first thing you see is you have a listing of all the different forms that you have created below. And on the right hand side, you have a new routing form button, which allows you to create one from scratch. So we're going to select new routing form. And once we select that, we see that we're presented with two options. The first one is to start a routing form from scratch. And the second is to import a form from Salesforce, HubSpot, etc. We're going to start from scratch and we're going to select create a new form. Now we want to input a form name. Now this is internal. So your customer does not see this form name. So you want to call it something that represents the intended goal that you're trying to create here with this form. I'm going to put sales analysis and we're going to select create form. Now that we have the name of the form, let's now add questions to the form that we can use to qualify our customers and clients for particular services, products, and meetings and to also obtain any information that we need in order for us to fully understand the different customers that are attracted to our offer, right? So the first thing we want to do is add a question. And what I want to point out is you want to add in the name and email address as the main components of your form. The reason why this is powerful is because if you set it up that way, as soon as your customer fills out a form and they qualify to book a meeting with you, they will then be routed to your booking form and the information they input here will automatically transfer over to the booking form, saving them time in the booking process. So let's go ahead and select the name field here. And I like the first and last name field separated. And we're going to make this a required question. So that way we are getting that information up front, select save. And then we want to add in that email address field and we're going to make this question required too and we're going to select save now let's take a look at all the different fields we have to offer so not only do we have a name and email address field but we have a phone number field drop down radio button short answer and paragraph the same kind of fields or type of fields that you see in our workflows in our booking forms now, I want to also add in a phone number because I want to get a little bit more info from my customer just in case some of the information that they share with me is valid enough for me to set up a phone call or et cetera. We're going to select save here and I want to add in another question and this one will be the question that I use to qualify my customer for specific routing that we're going to set up in the logic section of our routing form. So I'm going to use the radio button so they can choose one option and we're going to put services offered. We're going to then offer branding as an option. Let's do coaching, speaking as our final option. We're going to make this a required question so that we can ensure that we get a response to this question so that we can route them effectively to the correct service offering. We're going to select save here. Now we have the intake form created for a routing form. But one thing I want to point out is not only can you create and be creative with the type of questions that you offer to your customers and clients, right? But you can also edit the submit button to say something else. Um, for example, we can say uh, next as another option and select save. And instead of the customer seeing submit, they'll see next an expectation of being routed to something else after they've inputted their information. Another feature I want to point out is that you have the ability to also include a headline and description within your routing form. So you can add something like this, right? We can say Calendly sales request. 
and we can save that as our headline and then in the description section this is where you can really take advantage of the customer journey and provide them with information and insight about the form next steps or etc and you even have the ability just like with our booking page to add in a link where the customer can either preview your website or etc we're going to put something simple here for our customer now that we have that in place we're going to select save and now we have our intake form created now it's time to set up your routing rules. Now you can set up screening routes, booking routes, and a fallback route. Now screening routes filter out people you don't want to meet with, while booking routes are for people you want to meet with or visitors you're interested in but want to redirect to a URL. Now the fallback route applies to all people whose responses don't match a screening booking route. Now to create a route, we want to select the create button on the right hand side and you see that you're presented with three different options. You have the ability to use Salesforce lookup to build your logic. You have the ability to use HubSpot lookup to build your logic. But for this case, we're going to use the form answers. Now, once you select that button, you're now presented with if then statements. And basically what you have the ability to do is that you're able to put in a place. If a customer does this, then they will go to here. Okay. So for this case, what we're going to do is we're going to type in that if the form follows the condition where the customer selects service offered and the service they select is, and we're going to say branding, we want that customer to then be routed to one of our event types. Now, one thing I want to point out is that you're able to route the customer to an event type. You're able to route them to a custom message that you create and an external URL. Now that we have our route created, we're going to now select save and we will see that we have this route in place on our routing form. Let's create one more for the other service offer. We're going to select create use form answers. And we're going to choose that same question, the same is statement, but a different offering. And we're going to say coaching. And then we're going to have our customer go to an external URL. And we're going to put one here. So after they select coaching, they'll then be routed to this website to learn more about that specific offer. Now, if you want to get advanced with the settings, right, you have the ability to input a URL that would take your customer to a custom form that you have within your website, and you can pass the event details over to that external URL. Select the learn more link here to get the steps to make that possible. But this is also another feature that you have accessible to you within our routing forms. Now let's select save and we have our two routes set up. Now before we move on, we want to also take a look at the thank you for your interest section, right? So if the customer does not choose branding or coaching and they choose speaking, we would then route them to a custom message to let them know that we're either not able to offer any meetings during this time or we're not at the point where we're offering this service. Um, you can even put in a date or time period where they can, you know, qualify for the service again. So this is a great tool to also add in another form of vetting out or routing out specific customers that don't fit what you're currently offering right Right now so we're going to leave this as is and select save now we have our routing logic created now let's take a look at how to publish share and to manage your routing form now that we have our intake form created our routes created we can now select publish form to make our form live once you select publish form you're then presented with two options to use or to share your booking form link. So you have the ability to copy the link here and you can share it to a specific email or a place on your website or etc. Or you have the ability to add it to your website as an inline embed, pop up widget or pop up text. Now that we have shared or embedded our routing form onto our website, let's now manage our routing form by taking a look at our routing section within our Calendly account. So we're going to select back to routing to preview our routing form and what you see here is that once you have a routing form created you'll see a listing of that routing form within the categories below so we see our sales analysis form is presented here and we can see who created it the last response that was uh, made on the actual form the number of responses the status the ability to share and of course other options that we can do beyond such as edit the form rename the form cloning the form which is powerful when you want to recreate the form for a different instance 
and exporting the results and responses that were made on that routing form and to also have the ability to preview the responses and to delete the form. Now let's take a look at our sales analysis form and what we want to do is just kind of analyze the data that's been given to us because we see that we have three responses placed on our form. So there's two ways you can access this data. One could be just by simply clicking here and it will open up to a screen that lists out the responses or selecting the three dots here and you can select the responses button here to view those responses or if you're trying to build a database within your CRM or etc you can export the results onto your desktop or laptop and then filter that spreadsheet according to your intended goal what we'll do is go ahead and select responses here so we can preview those responses and as you can see, we have everything that the customer provided to us within our routing form. We also have where they were routed to based off of the service selected within our service offered question. So we can see the date, the time here that the customer or client filled out our routing form. We also have the data, the information they provided to us. So if we need to get in contact with them or if we want to learn more about their ask, we can definitely do that here. So you get a full view of just what the customer or client provided to you and the journey that they took based off of your routing question. Now let's head back to our routing home and let's take another look at some of the features that we have in front of us. So remember, we have the ability to not only review the responses, but you're able to edit the form. You're able to rename this form to a different title. And again, the ability to clone the form, which allows you to take the same questions and clone it over to a different form and rename it and edit it to meet the new intended goal. And another powerful feature is the ability to export the results by downloading them to your device. Now let's discuss some tips and tricks to elevate your routing form usage to a higher level. Make sure that when you're creating your logic that you test it out to ensure that it meets your intended goal. You wanna make sure that your if and then statements matches up to what you want customers and clients to experience. And you wanna also make sure that they're actually routed to the correct location or if you're using an external URL, you wanna make sure that link is active and is not sending them to a web page that is not activated or live for them to view. Another tip to take your routing form game up another notch, feel free to use some of our advanced integrations that we have with Salesforce, HubSpot, Marketo, etc., to elevate your routing form experience within your workflow. So you're able to integrate a third-party tool with Calendly routing forms to have the information or data or responses sent to your system and from that point trigger certain responses for your team members about specific customers, their responses, and etc. And finally, don't be afraid to get creative with this routing form. You can definitely go as in depth as you would like. You can definitely keep it on the surface as much as possible, but look at the routing form as a place for you to obtain the information that you need in order for you to better understand your customer and client or to ensure that the customer and clients that reach out to you are connected with your products and services or to elevate your brand to new faces. In conclusion, Calendly's routing forms feature is a powerful tool that can help you streamline your scheduling process and improve the overall customer experience. By following the steps outlined in this demo, you can set up and embed routing forms, view responses, and export results to take your scheduling process to the next level. I hope these tips help you streamline your scheduling process. If you have any questions about Calendly features, drop them in the comments below, or you can check out our help center, which is also linked in the description below. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with those who would find it useful. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll dive deeper into Calendly features. Until then, happy scheduling.